It's Monday, June 30th. We can keep a conversation going. I try talking, but we fall back into silence in no time. I want to hold her hand tight, but my embarrassment's getting in the way. Memories of yesterday come back to mind in vivid detail every time I look at Toko's face. I've completely forgotten how I usually act around her because of the combination of joy and embarrassment whirling around in my mind. Oh, I feel something soft against my pinky. Toko's holding my hand, just by the pinky. She looks at me expectantly. I can't let myself be overcome by embarrassment. I need to pull myself together as a man. I don't say anything, just gently take her hand. Toko squeezes back a little in response through her embarrassment. Same for me, like, it's just crazy embarrassing. The two of us start walking. The short yet long morning was an exciting and happy time. Okay. One last deep breath. I gotta act like I always do. Don't get self-conscious. Sorry I'm late, Toko. Toko seems to have calmed down too. She smiles at me like always. She doesn't seem flustered like she was this morning. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry too. Hey, you got any requests for future lunches? I'm really starting to run up against it in terms of ideas for lunch menus. That's the most difficult kind of answer you can give, you know? Not like I'm actually good at cooking either. Sure, but it's all stuff that's easy to make. There aren't many options for a lunchbox side, so it just limits the number of things I've learned to make. The two of us are relaxing together for the rest of lunch break after eating. Normally, Toko would say she's sleepy and get on my lap at this point, but... I already know what she wants. But the way she's looking over at me so bashfully is so cute. Let's enjoy this for a little longer. A request? I'll try if it's something I can do. Why ask now? You never checked if it was okay before. Looks like I don't have much in the way of patience either. I pull her closer to me. Like this? Her face softens into a smile as she leans against me. I wrap my arms around her as a matter of course. I've really gotten used to this, haven't I? Do they? I guess I'll have to touch you more with them then. We can mess around just like always. Having a relationship like this with Toko has always been ticklish and incredibly comfortable. Aren't you gonna sleep today? You always fall asleep right away. Oh, he? <laughs> Toku, the tickles. Uhi. She continues to kiss my neck. She must have thought my reaction was funny. She pokes at me with her tongue as she sucks on my skin. It feels nice, but it's definitely ticklish. Mm. 
もっと恥ずかしい思いすればいいんだよ。You're doing it wrong then. It's not embarrassing. A ticket. うーん。私が楽しいからどっちでもいいや。ああ、oh, wait a second. <笑>やーだ。昨日たくさんいじめてくれたお返しだよ。You shouldn't say it like that. That's my way of showing affection. She's clearly enjoying this. I'm nearing the end of my reasoning capacity here. I'll just have to stop her by force. I seal her lips with a bit of a forceful deep kiss. Her moans spill out seductively from the corners of her lips. I slowly insert my tongue into her mouth. Toko responds in kind with her tongue as we both get more into it. It's cause you were trying to mess with me. Her eyes look expectant and her words are seductive. It shakes me to the core of my rational mind. My hunger and lust for her swell up inside me. Toko, I can't hold it in anymore. There is no outlet for these feelings. What do I do? Where do I point these swollen up feelings and my likewise swollen crotch? <sighs> Thank God, I made it. Huh? What? What do you mean? I merely know what they are from. It's from when Toko was playing around earlier. They're hickeys.、Uh, oh, what? Maybe I got bitten by a bug or something. <laughs> Duck! Se Segawa? I have no words with which to explain myself. Let's be a little more careful when we are at school. I stopped by the event committee office. I was asked to go buy some things we'll need. Toko is instantly excited. She clearly wants to go play. It's just gonna be getting consumables like stationery and duct tape. Nothing interesting. Looks like she's totally set on having fun. Well, a little bit should be fine since Shuichi never told me I had to have it done by today. Alright, but we'll do any detours after we get what we need, alright? We need to get our work done first. I haven't been to Shionagi's main street with Toko while we were wearing our uniforms since our first trial date. Definitely feels like we're two students out on a date. This is pretty nice. Oh, yeah, about lunch. Segawa and Nagarosawa totally noticed when I got back to class. It was a huge pain, you know. <laughs> Give me a break. It's rough holding myself back, too. I consider telling her to limit doing stuff like that to when we're at home, if that's the case, but I don't want us to have less physical contact when we're in the old school building either. You're seriously just telling me you're gonna do it? At least make it something that other people won't notice. Sure, seems like she's enjoying herself. 
Huh, a summertime collection. There's a bunch of summerish stuff for women like swimsuits and yukata on display. The display itself is decorated with a summer theme too. I can spot a few students wearing Shionagi Academy uniforms in the people looking through. That swimsuit on that mannequin there would probably look good on Toko. I feel like the slightly more mature feel would work better than a frilly cutesy design. I think a more subdued color would be nice for a yukata on her too. There are yukata with short hems too, but I wouldn't say that exposing more skin is automatically a good thing. It might look nice on Osaka, but I wouldn't say the same for Toko. Huh? Oh no, that's not why. I was just thinking about how that swimsuit would probably look good on you. Mm, yeah. I was considering everything on display with Toko in mind. I think I might be getting a little too crazy. Let's calm down. Mm, summer events sound pretty fun, right? The Tanabata festival is one thing, but I want to enjoy summer in general with you. Are they? I don't really know how much they usually go for. Holy shit! What? They are very expensive? For that little fabric? I never knew. Looks like there's a lot to learn when it comes to women's product value standards. Uh, what are you saying? Of course not. <laughs> the worst part is that she teases me like that already knowing what my answer is going to be. It'd be nice if she could go a little easy on me. She pokes my neck and smiles. I ticklish. A ticklish sensation starts seeping into my neck. I don't mind if it's somewhere you couldn't see, but people keep looking at me as we are walking by. It's so distracting. Really now, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> It'd probably be pretty bad if she tried even more than she already has, right? My neck's gonna be covered in these. Shuichi never called me or anything, so I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it'd be nice to have fun with no work hanging over us. We could watch a movie or go to the amusement park. Some stereotypical date stuff. <laughs> We're stacking up our happy moments bit by bit. I stare at her face from the side. If only the days could be longer. Oh, no, I was just thinking it'd be great if every day was longer, you know. The wind blows comfortably. Toko's face is so pretty, illuminated by the light of sunset. I can't hold in my urges to touch her. Toko. I take her gently by the shoulders and look into her eyes. She understands exactly what I want to do and allows me to continue. I slowly place my lips onto hers and savor the texture of her soft lips. Gently at first, but steadily growing bolder. I place my overflowing feelings onto my tongue as I tangle it around hers. Oh, 
できなくなっちゃった It'll never be enough. Are you satisfied already? 私、意外と欲張りだよ。今から教えてあげる。<笑> She tangled her tongue around mine. It looks like Toko couldn't wait either. <笑> It's a far more assertive kiss than I've experienced up until now. My hunger for her rises to the surface as my feelings swell in my chest. <laughs> Our hunger for each other grows more and more heated. We continued for a long while, the sea breeze doing nothing to cool our passion. It's Tuesday, July 1st. Do you like it? Today, I'm going to make a cake for you. Uh, I made this. I'm going to make a cake for you. I'm going to make a cake for you. I'm going to make a cake for you. So, you want bacon wrapped asparagus tomorrow? Got it. I'm going to make a cake for you. What do you do? A bath? What are you talking about? You can't expect me to catch on that quickly. Play along. With what kind of stuff? Is this a new way of messing with me? You overacted it way too much. Of course, I'm gonna figure it out if you aren't casual about it. I'm doing my best to appear completely unperturbed. Though I am completely excited and nervous on the inside. So she knew. Now I feel embarrassed for pretending to be calm. Please don't. I won't know what to believe when you say things. That's a surprise. I didn't think she was interested in stuff like that. It's nice getting to see a more normal girly side of her. Play along or don't play along? Let's play along. Hmm, I haven't played pretend since I was a kid. We may be alone right now, but pretending to be newlyweds isn't that going to be ridiculously embarrassing. But I do want to play along with Toko. Seeing her look at me like that makes me want to meet her expectations, even if it is going to be embarrassing. Okay, but just for a bit, because we don't have much time. How should I know? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not really sure. You could come to the door, I could go to the door, I could go to the door, I could go to the door. The phrase evokes an image of two people being cute to see together, but we already do that. So then, what do you do when you pretend to be newlyweds? Toko, you're giving your plan away. Could you not just state you were planning on messing with me? She's smiling to try to distract me. Damn it, she's so cute! And now something weird started up. Is this the playing newlyweds Toko had in mind? 
since she is suddenly calling me dear. It makes me feel a bit itchy. Alright, it's embarrassing, but I'll play the part of the husband and... Don't drop out of character already. I was mentally preparing myself to give a fitting response. <laughs> well, whatever. It's already kind of different from playing pretend as a kid now that we've got uh, takes. It's a different line and there's more feeling to it now. Where the heck does she want to take this? Uh, I'm not mad. It's not like this is anything new, right? I'm sorry? Oh god, this is scary. How am I supposed to respond to this when this is all made up? Toko gets the idea of a newlywed couple from afternoon television, doesn't she? D don't be ridiculous! I haven't done anything. <laughs> that acting makes my stomach hurt, so please don't. What kind of magazines do you get stuff like that from? Women's magazines now scare me. The hell are they thinking writing specials for stuff like that? Of course I'm not. I wouldn't even have the time to do anything like that with how much we are together. Yeah, cause I want to be with you. So make take three something simple, please. About 20% sweeter if you could. <laughs> 